Hey, it's Brock here with Rock Hill Farms, and today I'm going to try to finish out this hillside. So, I've been trying to decide for a while what I wanted to do here, because on this side, down here, is going to be the road where we come up the driveway and bring equipment around into the back of the Quonset hut. And it's also going to have a lot of water running off the Quonset hut and down the hill and trying to wash out whatever I put there. So I originally thought I would just put rock there and not have to maintain it to the degree that you would grass. But I think the problem with that is all the water off the Quonset hut is going to continually wash that rock down and I'm going to have to regrade that hillside all the time. So I decided I'm going to plant grass seed there. I've already graded it pretty well, but not perfectly. And then I packed it in really tight, just tire packed it. and. I did that because I knew we were going to have a lot of rain coming. Now we've got four or five days without rain. I think it's the perfect time to use the Harley rake, loosen everything back up, get my seed down, put some straw on top of it, and hopefully we get some grass pretty quick. So I'm going to pull the hay wagon out, drive the truck up in there, decide exactly where I want my road and where I want my grass, and then we'll get started. Check it out, see what it's all about. But the traffic was fast and the money was slow. The people I met you never get to know. I kind of miss this place I used to live back home. Cause up here it's pregnant, paycheck, rat race, what's next? I'm tired of feeling like a small fish in a big pond. I find the gold. Change your mind, trying to save your time. In case you're thinking about breaking out the bucket list, girl, you can skip this funny business. Cause up there it's complicated and overrated. Down here everything is understated. That's all right by me. I got everything that I need. But there is pregnant, paycheck. Slow life if you just ride like a bonfire. 
I think that looks pretty good. We'll look at that more in a second, but first, where I finished, it kind of dropped rocks and left this little bit of extra dirt. There's actually a bunch of rocks right here where I ran it. I think a secondary thing you can do with this is kind of sort those rocks out, and I'm gonna push those rocks down here. See how it does at that. Something I always make clear for the viewers on my channel is that I'm not trying to do a how-to. This is a new piece of equipment to me, and I'm trying to learn how to use it. So I was tempted to take the camera in the cab and show you different things, but I'm not ready for that yet. So I can talk about the utility, and I'm really impressed with the fact that not only does it grade this, not only does it pulverize it, but it also removes rocks. Every time I lifted it at the end, I would have this pile of rocks right there. So basically, anything that doesn't get pulverized gets pushed along in front. So this should be perfect for putting my seed down. I was planning to seed this by hand so that I didn't compact this loose soil, but I don't think it's gonna hurt anything. I'm gonna drive in front, broadcast the seed out, and then drive over it in a couple spots with the tractor tires that's not going to hurt anything. And this spreader, I didn't know where my hand spreader was. And this one, I put it on in about two minutes. It just slides into the receiver on the front of the bucket. The wiring is already in the, in the engine compartment, hooked to the battery. So I just open that up, plug it in, run the cord back to the seat, and we're good to go. Now what's crazy is the sticker shock of going to buy grass seed. I didn't buy any of the fancy stuff with the coated seeds and mixed with the fertilizer and I just bought grass seed, nothing else. A hundred dollars a bag and then I bought straw to put down on it and I ended up spending a hundred and eighty dollars to put grass over this little bitty patch. I'd almost rather just let time cover it in weeds except that it's gonna wash down with the water so anyway it's done now grab the bag of seeds and we'll start spreading If you haven't seen my other videos on this FastCast 400 spreader, I actually bought it for spreading salt in the winter or ice melt or whatever you're using. And it works great as a seeder too. What I really like is putting it on the front of the tractor instead of the back so I can lift it up in the air and see the seed or the salt coming out and know exactly when it's running low. Also, if it sticks and doesn't slide down, which I don't think the seed will, but if it, if it doesn't slide down, you can just shake your bucket a little. If I was doing this again, I either would have spread the seed by hand or I would have put the spreader on the back of the four-wheeler because this ground's pretty soft and it was just broken up by the skid loader. And basically, the tracks I left were a little deeper than I would have liked. So I'm just lightly hand raking this to kind of smooth those tracks back out and I think it should work great. I bought the grass seed at Tractor Supply and I was planning on getting just a couple of straw bales but they didn't have any setting out and I saw these rolls of straw that's like wrapped into a mesh and decided to give that a try. But I'm glad I only bought one of those because you have to stake them down, otherwise they'll blow off in the wind. And I did the other with this bagged straw. It took two bags of that, then I just lightly sprinkled it with the garden hose. I did all this on May 8th, and I'll be checking back soon. Hopefully, 
it comes up pretty quickly before we get more rain and this all erodes out. I'm gonna spread this just a little bit more with the rake and wet it down and call that good. I appreciate you taking time to watch this video. I'll put links over here to a couple more of our videos and I'll see you next time.